Hello everyone and welcome, it's Keeper MC and we continue our exploration on the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft, 2b2t.org. In the previous episode we managed to finally, well, some sort of uh, escape the uh, skeleton spawner because we were either stuck trying to get two stacks of arrows, either were just brutally disconnected a few times, so it took me only a few days in a row to, to, to well, almost a week to uh, get this, let's say, task done. And while going back, we started to notice lots of experience laying on the ground, same as random blocks we were not seeing previously, like a few days ago. So somebody was definitely going into this direction. Whoops, that was an accident. Sorry. Uh, we can actually fix that by putting on some light. And, uh, well, I was planning to leave already, because we are still having some things to do, and of course head uh, back to our village, but I considered that this path looks actually quite fishy. Uh, I mean, either there could be, a, I don't know, maybe bed hidden, or maybe there is a base underground, or it's just a simple way to tower somebody else's, like, up. Uh, Maybe because they escaped the nether portal. So I think that's something we can try to uh, investigate. Because as you know, we actually are looking for a nether portal. Uh, so that we can head back, well, relatively fast. And also maybe try our luck in terms of getting the blaze rods. So, let's see how far does it go. We will gradually try to lower our... Uh, let's say water source. Of course, it's lagging, hopefully not too much. But I'm really afraid to uh, to fall in the lava by some reason. So it's better to keep doing it this way, I think. Slow, but rather safe. Let's see. Well, there's lots of water. Lots of resources not taken. But is this... Nope, it's not going any lower. So I wonder if that's... If that's somebody else's like hidden base. Or someone was just r rushing through, uh, looking for them diamonds, maybe. What is this source of light? Okay, so that's a huge cave. Well, in that sense it could be that somebody was trying to get them diamonds. I know maybe we are also supposed to double check this because we're already here. And I'm pretending that those scary noises doesn't scare me, <laughs> but they do. But I wonder who went there and why. Yeah, because as you see, this probably was the place they mined out. Maybe some coal, but coal isn't that rare to try to get specifically it out of the mine. All this. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I think it would. If we would be having this hacked client, we could actually see more. Maybe. But we are not doing that. We are playing a pure vanilla. In case if you don't know. And that's why we mostly see nothing, which is absolutely fine. Yeah, but I'm still curious who went there and why. Because I do not see any portals in there. Well, maybe they were having like only a limited amount of obsidian, so they destroyed their portal and then wait, went away. But it doesn't seem so, so I wonder. 
no torches, no other signs of activity, just a tower up and leave. But from where um, where are they going? Let's just turn off the water. Because it's getting too annoying, to my opinion. Of course now, a bit laggy. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe let's just have a quick run through this huge cave in the bottom levels. Well, we actually didn't see that they entered through this um, way, because we actually were the ones who opened it. But still, maybe they were having some other way to enter. We just missed, for example. So let's just quickly double check. And then I think we'll use a water to go down. Well, we can actually take the gold because we have some already in our inventory. And some gold could be always useful for them great apples. Yep, and we already have so much of a cobblestone, so let's maybe just exchange it for gravel. Yep, nothing in there. Right, so the lava is very close. Maybe let's try to put that lava source off first. Without swimming <laughs> in it. Okay. Well, without the lava, probably we won't see much. Oh, I see, I think the blue one. Okay, maybe we should start using them torches so that we will also free up some inventory because that's starting to be annoying a little bit. So let's put them few torches so that we actually can see. Uh, the way out, and I think we can just hmm. we can just do it like that. Yep, fair enough. So hopefully, if the monsters would fall, they won't burn us in lava that quick. So let's see if we can put some more water away. Because we want to see clear through it. Maybe there are hidden treasures behind them water blocks. <sighs> Maybe nothing. Redstone. What are the chances that there are diamonds right behind the redstone? <laughs> hmm. Well, let's try to see. Well, probably this time very low. Around zero. Do we need a redstone? No. Do we need an experience? Yes. Do we have a space for it? No. Ah. Hmm. Yeah. Well, probably we will leave it at the moment. Um, because, yeah, I think we might better take... So two more torches to be put. Uh, maybe let's start with this. Okay, some more caves. Still no any signs of player activity. Ah. Just lots of resources, we have no space to carry. But 
But I want to take them blue ones. Uh, maybe not now. <coughs> up in here lagging, well maybe not lagging but glitching still not good and still no diamonds like no diamonds because they actually managed to mine them out um, but it doesn't seem so because I cannot see any blocks like being destroyed any holes or a player put blocks because I mean there has to be something but I cannot see anything all the terrain looks absolutely natural Especially those dark spots, like, great. <laughs> Interesting. So for now I, I'm having, like, zero clue how actually players made it down here and where did they went if they were actually going down, not heading up. Absolutely no signs of any activity. Well, just a casual, never ending caves. Well, alright, I guess we can just move on. Because I don't really want to go deep in the caves and start mining resources because I won't just stop. As you know. <laughs> or maybe let's just take the lapis because of course we'll need it both for enchantments and also, I mean, it's just a free experience. So, basically almost the same as a redstone, just a little bit more useful in that sense. It's an emerald. Got confused for a second. Hmm. Um, okay. Well, 
let's do some more blocks and then decide what to burn. Burn! Huge lava pools around us. Don't really want to fall. <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, for now we need at least two free slots in our inventory because we have found not only emeralds but also some diamonds. So, what is it we can burn? <sighs> Nothing. Well, we can just throw away one crafting table. Doesn't help much. Well, probably the soul sand because we might get it quite soon because we will head through the nether and we will have always have a portal uh, nearby our village. Well, maybe hmm, the netherrack. And it is supposed to do it pretty much. Hell yeah. Noise, 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 noise. Okay, let's maybe just think about the Safety first. Just to be sure, because you know how easily am I finding the ways to die. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hell yeah. Woof. Eight. Wolf. Not a bad at all. And how can you actually stop going through the mines when you start to find diamonds? And it actually makes it even less clear what is that those players doing here, because even the diamonds are left untouched. If these would be the vanilla players, they would most probably uh, gather some basic resources, because vanilla players need them regularly. Some iron, some coal, some stuff, but nothing is touched at all. Like, what? I clearly do not understand that, but, well, I guess that's okay. Same as burning down lots of blocks, because we just have no space for them. I should really stop. <laughs> Someone make me stop. Oof. Well, not that I'm calling out for players. But I still wonder. Probably my next wonder would be if I will manage to find a way back. <laughs> Well, for now it's mostly on camera, so it should be a bit easier. But still... Okay... Wow. I actually didn't know that they are... Well, I knew that they are usually like spawning just one of them, but I never knew that they could be that close one to each other. That's actually unexpected for me. Okay... Oh, like, really? turn some flux pavilion I can't stop right ah oh, are you kidding <laughs> no way I 
don't really need that much. I mean now, especially while traveling. Thank you. I mean, we are getting them good resources. Whoop. Some more. Always better to double check. Resources is so exciting to me. So yeah. Don't judge me, please. Please. But I promise not to spend like 15 episodes in here. <laughs> and then. 15 episodes later. <laughs> I think we can also call this episode close and uh, well I will continue the recording uh, later on as long as I will find the way back uh, to the tunnel we made it down here well hopefully I will manage to find that place because it's actually quite a decent amount of uh, blocks away from here but in any case if you're same curious as I am Feel free to like and comment. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you back in the next episode.